today i am going to discuss about remainder theorem one of the polynomial theorems called remainder theorem let's start with the statement of the theorem here is the statement remainder theorem if the polynomial px is divided by x minus a then the remainder is p of a that is we can say any polynomial px of some degree is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a of the form x minus a then the remainder will be p evaluated that is the polynomial px evaluated at x is equal to a so let us prove the theorem proof now we all know that if any polynomial is divided by another polynomial then there should exist two unique polynomial called quotient and the remainder so from division rule we can say if we divide px by a polynomial ax then there will be a quotient qx and another polynomial rx that is remainder so we can write it px is equal to ax into quotient x plus remainder rx so from there the theorem states if the polynomial px is divided by x minus a that means the function ax is none other than x minus a so let us write it let ax is equal to x minus a so let us put ax is equal to x minus a in the above relation so we have px is equal to x minus a into qx plus rx now if we put x is equal to a in the above relation we have pa is equal to a minus a into q evaluated at x is equal to a plus ra now here we can see that the first term contains a factor a minus a that is zero so there is only left with the last term ra so there is this therefore we have pa is equal to ra so there here is the theorem states that the remainder when px is divided by x minus a then the remainder will be equal with pa okay so let us write it now the degree of rx is less than 1 why because here the divisor is x minus a which is a linear of degree 1 so the degree of the quotient must be less than the degree of the divisor here the degree of the divisor is 1 so degree of rx is less than 1 that means degree of rx less than 1 implies that rx is a constant and the value of rx will be equal with ra when it is divided by when px is divided by x minus a then the remainder will be equal with p of a hence the theorem follows i think the student can understand it now here in this video i am giving some examples of the remainder theorem let's discuss with some examples the first example find the remainder when px is equal to 5x to the 5x cube minus 17x square minus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 2 so from the remainder theorem we can say here x minus a means a equal with 2 so let us write it px is equal to 5x cube minus 17x square minus x plus 11 so we have to find out p2 p2 is equal to 5 into 2 cube minus 17 into 2 square minus 2 plus 11 so by simplification we can obtain the value evaluated at 2 is equal to 19 sorry minus 19 so we have if px is divided by x minus 2 the remainder will be is equal to minus 19 now we have therefore we can write it the remainder when px is divided by x minus 2 the remainder will be equal with minus 19 now what will be the case when the remainder is zero that question gives us another theorem called a factor theorem here is a factor theorem if 
x minus is a factor of px, then p of a equal with 0. That means the remainder is equal to 0 implies that x minus a is a factor of px. This is called a factor theorem. Now we should go through the factor theorem so that x minus 2 is a factor of px where px is equal to x cube minus 19x plus 30 and hence factorize px. First we should check it that x minus 2 is a factor of px. So from remainder theorem we can test it easily. Now we have p evaluated at 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 19 into 2 plus 13 this will give equal to 0. So the remainder equal to 0. So therefore we can say that x minus 2 is a factor of px. Now by manual method we can divide px by x minus 2. So the step follows. We have this, this, this and this, this. This will give us the remainder equal with 0. So the remainder equal to 0 that is px is divided by x minus 2 this will give us the remainder 0. So x minus 2 is a factor of px and we can write px is equal to x minus 2 into another factor x square plus 2x minus 15. Now if we factor is the second term that is x square plus 2x minus 15 then we have another two factors in the form x minus 2 x plus 5 into x minus 3. So we can easily say that x minus 2 is a factor of px. Thank you for watching. Keep watching my channel. Thank you.